yourself two questions: What informs the color palette of our cities, and what are the impacts on how we view our cities? Color has a profound effect on our visual and emotional condition. It has an impact on our perception of size and form, with a strong relation to our cultural, religious, and geographical background. So, due to the importance of color on our quality of life, choosing an appropriate color is really important, as misuse may have negative effects on our feelings and our relationship with the physical environment. So, if color is that important, did you ever ask yourself who is responsible for determining the ethics of color use in our built environment? Yes, that would be someone like me, an architect <laughs> or a designer. But the problem is, <coughs> architects and urban designers do not have sufficient knowledge and also confidence in use of color due to the lack of training in the educational background. None of the architectural standards or even criteria of accreditation institutes in Australia consider color directly in their requirements. So here are my questions: How much do architects know about color? How do they make the color choices? And what is the role of education in their understanding about color? I'm investigating the place of color in architectural education by using a mixture of methods, and my participants will be architectural students and academic and practical architects. The first method is survey for investigating the understanding of color in relation to personal and educational background, and to find out what the participants think they know about color and what they actually know. The second method is color image scale, which gives us information about color taste and preferences. And the third interview gives us more detailed information. Most of you might have visited both Melbourne and Sydney. If so, you might have noticed that Melbourne is more colorful. Do you know why? I also comparing the design of students and architects in both cities, and I will delve deeply into the history and creative art of Melbourne over the past 50 years. Would you like to know? Um, would you like those who decide the color of your everyday environment to know the impact of their design decisions? The finding of this research will help us to nurture more sensitive architects who consider the ethics of color in their design and more altruistic architecture by improving the architectural curriculum. Thank you.